I, I, there was a lot of bullshit answers, but I thought Donald Trump, more than anyone, struggled when it came to, like, specifics. Do you think this is what's going to kill him, or are facts in this particular campaign just novelty at this point, Josh? Uh, he definitely seemed out of his depth last night. He, you know, he didn't have any... I mean, there was a little bit with Kasich when he was talking about um, the windfall, the tax windfall from the fracking in in Ohio. Um, but I think he was trying to actually compete with Rubio and Jeb Bush for the title of being an adult in the campaign. Like, I think he was trying to uh, come across as a, as more of a, a politician that we would expect to see in a debate like this. And I think that if he does that, then, yeah, it will be over. Because the whole reason Trump has succeeded in spite of, you know, the good sense of, of everyone who's ever paid attention to politics is that he's been true to his brand, as it were. And um, that's, you know, people respond to that. I think if, if he really tries to go toe-to-toe policy-wise with someone like Ted Cruz, who I think is most likely to pick up his supporters if and when Trump gets out. Um, he's going to be in the weeds for sure because, you know, true, Cruz, as batty as he can be, at least knows a little bit more about the process than I think Trump does and can sound way more competent than Trump saying things like, oh, the foreign policy is amazing. It'll be the best foreign policy that's ever, you know, Eric, do you think that the lack of real policy substance that Donald Trump shows is going to hurt him among his particular supporters? Or are these supporters that really don't care about these particular things? They just want a leader like Trump. It's a tough one because it, it could be both ways. If voters show up and they just don't care anymore and they want to elect a buffoon, then Donald Trump's your answer. Yeah. But if, mm. but if they're looking for somebody... he got the buffoon more... demographic nail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But if you're looking for somebody a little more serious, then you turn to a Marco Rubio, possibly a Ted Cruz. And like Josh was saying, as crazy as Ted Cruz is, he's got a lot of experience in the Senate. He understands the processes. He knows how to pass laws. He knows how to play the game. Whereas Donald Trump just steps up on the stage and says, my policies are great. They're the best. I'll make China do this. I'll, I'll make Mexico pay for the wall. But, you know, when you when you go deeper into these issues, okay, so how are you going to do that? Once again, he just responds with a simple answer, oh, I'll just do it because I'm Donald Trump. Like, that's not how politics work. You put Putin on the table with Trump, and it's going to be a lot more challenging than he thinks 